Hi, this is Calvis doing an online commentary for Rome Total War. I command the Carthaginians and my opponent, uh, a parcel recruit, I forget his name, Punyan, I think, commands uh, Mastodon. Well, I'm going with a typical uh, Carthage playing army. I got a uh, six sacred band, gold gold for sacred band cavalry gold gold and six slingers gold gold spread out way across the map now this one I was in the KOTW clan I didn't leave for any particular reason the guys are actually pretty cool just couldn't stand all the drama and all the crap talking in the chat room warring with other people I just sign on and want to get battles in I ain't in there chit chat so let's see what uh, Punyan, who's commanding the Macedonians, brings. Let's fast forward it and see. Yada yada yada. Yeah, like I said, now I'm in the Heaven Clan. We'll see how long that lasts. They're pretty cool guys, too. Actually, Cyrus from the Parsa clan's a real cool dude. There's a lot of cool dudes in the clans, and then there's a lot of dudes that are just complete jerks. So, depending on who annoys me more, you know, I'll strip the tag right off. Okay, let's see what he's got here. All right, he's got a unit of peasants here. Two upgrades or three upgrades. Looks like, let's see, two, four, he's got the max amount of archers, six regular uh, Greek archers, two uh, Cretan archers on each flank. Uh, these are gold, gold, the uh, regular Greek archers. That looks like a gold sorted upgrade. He's got six units of royal pikemen. Uh, gold, gold, three light lancers. Gold, gold, and I believe that's three companion cab. That are gold, gold, so he's got a bling army as well. So let's see what happens. This is an older video, so I'm bringing my march forward. Yeah, I, I know I wouldn't win the uh, missile battle on this. Because they have superior archers and slingers absolutely stink. But we'll see what happens. Alright, he's running the peasants up here. The mighty peasants, mighty brave, right into the general. They bust out their knives. They're trying to rumble. And it looks like they're trying to get away. Looks like they're trying to get away. Then they meet the sacred band cavalry. And that's the end of the peasants. Oh, Cretan archers came up the fight. Look, why they why they come up? They came up the fight royal uh, sacred band pikemen in phalanx. It would have been better served staying back there. Okay, I'll take it. I will take it. Okay, I bring my guys back here. I don't want them getting fired on by these archers. Heavily upgraded archers. All right, I try to swing. I guess I'm looking to do a flank maneuver here. We'll do that from time to time. Sacrifice the slingers. They get, they get owned by archers. They gotta get so close to get their rocks off. Aha, get their rocks off. Anyway, let's see what happens here. All right, here come the light lances. I assumed that was going to happen. But see, this is what I want to happen. I want you to go chasing after slingers. I don't care one bit about slingers. The beef of my army is my pikemen. Okay, and he's going after these guys with Greek cavalry. Oh, I must have, okay, he only had uh, two units of companion cap and one Greek cap. Alright, you know, them, the Light Lancers have a good charge. So, 
they're good for ambush strikes. And these guys are good for running down uh, slingers, but seems like you know he's not too interested in, on that wing. But over here, he's run, he's running these guys way out of it. I see that. All right, he's running these other lancers out after these guys. Okay, run, boys, run. Run them lancers far away. Yeah, get out, get away from the battlefield. All right, and I can see what I'm doing right here. I said, scroll it, and I went, since I'm such a, no, such a, since uh, I seen what was going on here, I figure, all right, I'll just bypass these archers, and if they get in my way on the way up, I just click to attack each unit, one for each, one pike for each pike unit, two for on here, because let's see, all right, two, four, oh, he only has five units, thought he had six, so I'll have two units on his flank over here. Where the Sacred Band Cavalry is just lingering in the back here. So ain't look how far them Lancers are. Good, stay stay far away. Far away. Okay, I routed some of his archers. He got, he got some of my Slingers, but I don't care about them. They're crap. I'm moving Slingers up here. Two units of Sacred Band Pikes. No charge yet from this Greek cavalry to get these guys out of there. All right, I'm trying to shoot the gaps here. Oh, I get hung up on some of that pikes. Get hung up on pikes there, but I'm flanking out wide. I'm bringing more slingers over here. He comes in with a hammer strike right there on my cavalry. That should be interesting to see what happens, and he's doing the same right here. Oh, that's a good strike. Oh, victory's almost certain. Uh, is a distinct possibility. Here I come on this flank. Try to get rid of these pikemen. There, there it is. Slinging rocks at them and everything. Okay, now I'm going to take out that calf. This is definitely the, what's the winning factor in this battle. I can tell that right now. Look at that out flank by slingers. All right, look at that. See, that's what I'm talking about. Leaving these guys back there. No reason for that. He's running that companion cav right in the pikeman. That's fine. I like that. Get a hammer strike. They're hanging in there, though. Oh, he got a hammer strike in with uh, some light lancers over here. Did no good. They routed. Still back here. Some light lancers. Okay, I'm chasing guys off the battlefield. I'm having micro laps. I got sacred band. I could be mopping up this uh, archer contingent. What? Just leaving these guys here. Yeah, they're firing arrows. But I'm winning the battle. The pike battle just even up, even without hammer strikes. Now, I guess sooner or later he's going. No, I start marching forward with the pikes. Yeah, there it is. He admits defeat. Now I decide to come running over to his uh, archers, but he had missed defeat. He seen he had, he had no chance. But that's clear victory. Like I said, uh, this is when I was in KOTW. And uh, Puyan over here, he's a recruit for uh, Parsa. I don't know. I don't know if he made it or changed his name or what. But uh, yeah, he made a few mistakes in the battle, like running his Cretans up. I guess that was an accident, and leaving his light lancers. But uh. Good game to Puyan from the Parsa clan. He deployed 1,690 men, and he got 558 kills. Had 681 men remaining, definitely them archers. Uh, I had 993 kills with 704 men remaining. Good game to Puyan. Thanks for watching.